I don't have a punchline for the joke, I'm afraid. Didn't think that far ahead. Still pretty cool spiders to be featured in today's video though, right? Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now in today's video, we are gonna be looking at rehousing three tarantulas. The Nandu chromatus, the Nandu carapoensis, and our Acanthoscuria geniculata. Now the best thing about these are, they're all sexed female. Woohoo! Yay for the girls! So yes, as you know, we had Realm Ferb and I got a lot of these beautiful enclosures up behind me from Mantis Den. Make sure to go and check out Mantis Den if you want some funky enclosures like mine. Now, before I get on with this, I do want to let you guys know that I have removed a majority of decor and water dishes from their original homes so that you guys can have a better look at the spider and I can transfer them easier. So about an hour before we did this, I took bits out, gave the tarantulas time to settle again and then did the rehousing. I did this because sometimes when you've got a heavily decorated area, uh, your water dish, your hide and everything, it gets tricky to get the tarantula out. I just found it easier to pick up those bits, take them out and then do the transfer. So we'll start off, I think, with a Nandu chromatus. Okay guys, so this is voiced over for the rehousings. I just wanted to show you how easy rehousings can be if they're done in certain ways. So you can see this is the design for the Nandu chromatus enclosure. It's very basic, a hide, a water dish, some moss, some leaves. So here we go in for the rehousing. Now I placed it on Kamorabi because I thought it was kind of a nice setting. You know, if the spider were to run out, it's not gonna go far. So here we go. This is the Nandu Chromatus and we're about to get it in. So all I'm doing is sliding the pot in here and then I'm using a plastic pipette to move the tarantula. So if it were to bite the pipette, it wouldn't do damage to the fangs. Now look how easily this Nandu goes in. Bada bing, bada boom. A little bit of flightiness, but not a lot. And you can see the lid is still open too. Not going anywhere. Beautiful. So we're going to reopen again and have a little look at our Nandu now. So this is a sexed female. And you can see those beautiful bone ivory-ish kind of colours on the joints. Uh, against the blackish legs, the lighter carapace and the red hairs upon the abdomen. I love a chromatus. Fairly common in the hobby, but a beautiful species. So now we're going to look at the enclosure designed for the Agen, Acanthoscuria geniculata. Again, very basic setup, moss, hide, leaves. Very, very simple. So now I'm using the lid as a little bit of leverage to stop the tarantula from going because this one's a little bit more bolty. And this one was kind of trying to hide underneath so I was using the pipette under the soil to give the tarantula a nudge and it's actually going in backwards and flipped around. But look how simple it is. Now the only thing I do regret from doing this one is the fact that it was just sat on the plastic. I'd rather it get right down to the floor before I move an enclosure, but it did wander down shortly after. There you can see it has a sim similar resemblance actually to Nandu Chromatus, but totally different. And I showed the door there just to show, look, this tranche is not running anywhere. And then it popped its bum in the water dish. So it still has those ivory markings on the leg joints, similar to a chromatus, but is different. You'll be able to see a comparison in a moment. God, I got to admire this tea. Darkening on the abdomen too. So we're hoping she's going to go into pre-molt. So here's a comparison of the two. As you can see, one enclosure on top of the other. They do have their similarities, but I'm hoping you'll be able to tell the difference. And we're doing a side-by-side -side one as well now. Can you spot the differences? Similar. 
similar but not the same. So now we're moving straight on to the Carapuensis, another juvenile female. Now this spider a lot of people think is a boring one of the Nandus. I don't think so at all. So this is the enclosure that I designed for it. Again, the same old bits. Now I'd like you guys to comment me below if you think that this spider is boring, but I love it. It's not your standard brown, like you can get a lot of lighter browns or darker brown tarantulas. And you'll see when this one comes out in a moment that it's got a richness to its colour and I just think it's beautiful. Now this one was a very flighty tea um, before. Um, you wouldn't have been able to see the hide in this because I took it out before the video. But if it wasn't its hide, you touch the enclosure, it used to run in. And there we go. Look at that. Simplistic. Again, no hurry for me to close the door. Look, that tarantula is in. It is happy. So now I've put it on the table, we can have another look. Can you see what I mean about the richness? It's It's got that darker brown, but that kind of Albany haze to it. It's a beautiful tarantula and I absolutely adore it. I need to get myself a sexed female tripepi soon because that's another Nandu I adore. I gave one of my tripepis to Mark's tarantulas a while back now and I do miss having one in the collection. Beautiful, really beautiful, right? And then here we go. Let's have a look at all three, all placed on top of each other. Simplistic homes but stunning homes if I don't say so myself. So I hope you guys didn't mind me doing an unscripted kind of voiceover there. It was just the fact that the night that I felt I needed to rehouse these everyone was actually sound asleep and I didn't want to be yabbering on um, housing them but it was important to do so. You saw the size of the tubs they were in, right? They haven't always been in there that size and I was desperate to get them in their new Mantis Den enclosures. But I was like, do I record it? Don't I? Because I want to share the experience of at least a majority of the rehousings into these Mantis Den enclosures because they are what made this realm verb, you know? And I just felt I have gotta do that. I've gotta record it somehow. So might have been a little bit less entertaining and they were simplistic houses so I don't know you guys comment me below are you still happy to watch videos like this that are very simplistic but show you how easy it can be now don't underestimate your tarantulas either because there are times where especially with old worlds they're gonna be a lot more bolty or as new worlds they might be flicking some of those urticating hairs and I tell you what you won't be able to see it in the camera I don't think but I got haired a while back you see some of these dots all up my arms where I've been scratching I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on the camera let me pop this light on a minute oh blinding light maybe you can see more um, but they were a lot worse about a week ago I had lots of dots and scratches all the backs and fronts of my hands this was me dealing with a lot of uh, substrate and um, they actually caught me out when I was taking the hides out so that I could uh, do the simple rehouse for you uh, I got haired in the finger there as well so you got to you have got to be careful but I wanted to just show you that it can be simple if done right now we've still got a hell of a lot of empty enclosures here for me to design and put animals in so please look forward to some future rehousing videos and there is a lot of stick insect content also going to be coming to the channel very very soon so stay tuned you Phasmid fans. So I'm going to call it there guys, there we had it, our two Nandus and an Agen walked into a bar, or in this case into their new enclosures. Take care everyone, bye bye.